This violence has been over 11,000 Palestinians massacred in an unprecedented military bombardment of unarmed, innocent, and helpless civilians in the whole of, of human history. In this inhuman bombardment, the Israeli Defense Force has murdered 4,650 children, 3,145 women, 198 medics, 22 civil defense personnel, and 51 journalists. Reports also indicate that 29,200 Palestinians in Gaza are injured. Above all, at least 3,600 people remain unaccounted for. In the devastation of buildings and landscapes, apartheid Israel aggression has forced 25 hospitals and 52 healthcare centers out of service, while 55 ambulances were targeted by Israeli forces. This should tell us that indeed Israel has declared war against children, hospitals, ambulances, journalists, and general campaign to wipe Palestinians of face of the earth of the earth. Many here will try to defend the defense, the men will try to defend the defenseless uh, situation in that country. But we all know that this is not defensible. However, this will be deliberate effort to blind us to the true story of Palestine, a story of over 70 of inhumanity that started with a colonial military occupation and ethnic cleansing of Palestinians by Zionist forces that established the state of Israel in 1948 as an apartheid state. A story of what Palestinians call the Nakaba, where Zionist colonial forces backed by British and USA governments expelled at least 750,000 Palestinians from their homes, lands, and captured 78% of historic Palestine. Here, is where the remaining 22% was divided into what we now call the occupied West Bank and the besieged Gaza Strip. Since then, even the 22% was never allowed any form of self-determination. Palestinians have lived under Israeli military occupation without basic human rights, such as the right to life, the right to equality, the right to a fair trial, the right to protest, the freedom of speech, the freedom of movement, the freedom of assembly or media freedom. This has been going on not since October 2023, but since 1948, and that is 75 years of hell, mass murder, ethnic cleansing, and brutal humiliation. We must remember that over 12,000 Palestinian children have been detained since the year 2000 alone. Of these, over 700 children who are unaccounted for in Israel. In addition, Israel has over 7,000 political prisoners, 200 of which again are children. It is reported by Israel itself that on average 204 Palestinian children have been held in custody every month since 2012. The world is aware of all these facts. Israel does not see Palestinian children. It hates them the same way the apartheid regime hated children like Tzitzi Mashinini, Hector Peterson, and many who were murdered in Soweto in 1976 and beyond. The world is in aware, the world in a way that Israel constructed a wall and fence that separated Palestinian towns and villages from Israel settlements, which designated only the occupied West and Gaza. In Gaza, for over 50 years, this has been uh, caused a population of 2 million people living on top of each other, the most densely populated area on earth. There are over 100 racially discriminated checkpoints, separate roads in which over 130 occasional roadblocks and searches conducted subject Palestinians to constant humiliation and dehumanization. In recent years, before the current destruction of Gaza, Israel launched four protracted military assaults on Gaza alone in 2008, 2012, 2014, 2021. The 2008 assaults involved the use of internationally banned weapons such as phosphorus gas. In 2014, 
Over a span of 50 days, Israel killed more than 2,100 Palestinians, including 1,462 civilians and close to 500 children. During the assault, they called Operation Protective Edge. About 11,000 Palestinians were wounded. 20,000 homes destroyed and half a million people displaced. So what is happening today is part of over half a century old project to wipe Palestine, Palestine and Palestinians off the face of the earth. It is a systematic and gradual genocide unleashed by the state that established itself as an ethnic exclusive state of Jews at the expense of indigenous Palestinian population. We must therefore reject the idea that because Israel calls itself a Jewish state, opposing its brutal apartheid system is anti-Semitic. There is nothing anti-Semitic about opposing injustice, particularly apartheid. Zionism does not equal Jewishness or Judaism. No one must manipulate scripture in the Bible or the Torah to promote ethnic cleansing, racism, and the mass murder of people. There are no special human beings with the right to massacre others so that they can benefit from the subsequent stolen land. We are all chosen people of God. We are all loved by God, and we must oppose any form of inequality and racism, even by those who do it in the name of God. We must therefore never buy into the lie and propaganda that this is a religious war. This is not a holy war. It is an evil war by an evil regime that is driven that is driving an, an evil agenda. Israel is a Zionist apartheid regime seeking to wipe Palestinians off the face of the earth. Palestinians who have all the rights to exist, particularly in the land of the ancestors. We therefore call on all of the world to isolate Israel through by court, disinvestment, sanctions, until, the end, until they end their military occupation and allow Palestinian refugees in surrounding countries like Lebanon, Syria, the right of return. We call on the Ramaphosa ANC government to shut down the Israeli embassy in Pretoria and end diplomatic relations with that brutal apartheid Israel regime. In the name of our own constitutional values, we must end these relations until human rights of Palestinians are respected, promoted, and protected. Israel must comply with international law and, and until then, any relations with them must be regarded as an offensive on our constitution. The president yesterday said they are going to send a complaint to International Criminal Court against Israel and Netanyahu, in line with what the president has said. And as survivors of apartheid ourselves, we must fight on the side of the Palestinian people and always be on the side of the weak. We therefore calling on members of parliament and the people of South Africa to support the call to remove the uh, Palestinian um, Israeli embassy in South Africa. We can't share a territory with murderers. We say no to the embassy of Israel in South Africa. It must go and it must go now. No justice, no peace. Free Palestine. Thank you very much.